What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so you guys had demanded for it, you asked for it, yeah, and we found him. Look at that. We found Elikid, also known as Kid Thunder, right here. And, well, it took me quite a while to actually find this guy. Mainly because I didn't really know how the Grand Underground worked and all that crud, guys. Turns out that you need your statues to actually do the work for you, and then you have to go find them in some place with a bunch of crystals right here. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Hopefully we don't make this guy faint. Let's go ahead and capture this guy. Flame Wheel, please do not kill this guy. So we're going to go first, and, well, let's get the Flame Wheel, and, ooh, nearly defeats him. And a Fire Punch right to the noggin right there. That was a critical hit. So... With one hit right there, we're going to try and capture this guy right here. And, well, I had some quick balls. I probably should have used them first. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. Please, baby. First. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. Please, baby Arceus. Help me out right here. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Damn it! Okay, so it looks like to me this guy is not going to go out without, with a punt, without a fight or a punch. And look at that. He's uh, throwing out punches. He's, <laughs> he's not going anywhere without swinging, so let's see what else, what kind of Pokeballs we got right here, uh, you know what, let's see, let's go with a Nest Ball right here, it is a lower level than my Pokemon, this should probably work, and there's one, there's two, there's three, come on, oh no, stop being a jerk man, and yeah, this guy is swinging for the fences, these Pokemon are like, Really hard to capture, so let's see. It's a dust ball. Let's go with uh, another ultra ball. Probably should have boxed more Pokeball ball with that. So here we go. Stay in the ball. Come on. Stay in there. Come on. Be my Pokemon. Yes! Throwing out the peace line, guys. I am throwing out the peace line. Acting kind of like Ash Ketchum. And yes, we have caught ourselves our newest Pokemon Kid Thunder. Yes, we want to give this guy a nickname. I bequeath you the name Kid Thunder. And, uh, well, I guess many of you guys already uh, were expecting this, but yes, Kid Thunder is going to be a part of this team right here. Let's go right here. Kid. Not that. Kid Thunder. Look at that. Yes! We caught him, and we are going to send this Pokemon to our party right here. So, I'm sorry, Electrostar, but you've had your time in the sun. Let's go right ahead and replace this guy. And yes, let's send this, uh, place this item in your bag just in case. Kid Thunder in your team. And yes, my communication has been interrupted because <laughs> I got a little too excited. Oh, damn. Okay, so before we do anything, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here. Kid Thunder. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy, Kid Thunder. Obviously, the Pokedex number is not there just yet because, well, th nothing has been updated and all that, right? So, yeah, as you can see, it is a pure electric type Pokemon. It is very, very bashful. We first met him, 2022. Actually, very first gameplay of the 2022 season here. And, well, look at that. It has the ability Static. Okay, so it's pretty fast. It does have some pretty good uh, attack and special attack. This guy is the total package because it has a fire punch, thunder punch, thunder wave, and screech. Now, I'm going to be selfish right here. I am going to be selfish. Let's go right ahead and give it a rare candy. And let's give it one rare candy right here. Bam! Say hello to level 31. And just like that, guys... <laughs> we are evolving Kid Thunder! Look at that, okay. So if you guys didn't know, this baby Pokemon alongside uh, Magby, they can evolve at level 30. Not through happiness, but there it is. Say hello to Electabuzz, Kid Thunder number 2. Look at that. Holy crud. Kid Thunder, really the... Oh yes, okay, so... Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at what, what, what got up there now. So check the summary. As you can see, Kid Thunder now is an Electabuzz. And, well, its attack has gone up uh, by 20. Speed has gone up uh, quite a bit, especially its special defense and defense. So I think we're going to be all right right here. Um, there is one little thing. One more thing that I probably should check on. And that is... 
Yeah, we don't have it just yet, but this Pokemon can evolve through evol uh, through trading, and we don't have the actual the actual item to actually uh, help it out. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm actually gonna go upstairs. I'll be right back. We got a lot to go forward and all that stuff. Heal our Pokemon, and uh, well, try not to get hit by this uh, this ghastly right here. So I'll be right back in just a little bit. Okay, guys. So here we are back in Pastoria City, and well. We've already healed up our Pokemon right here. Look at them. All of them healed. Kid Thunder is back on the team. Holy crud. And it's what I was saying, guys. I am going to make changes uh, here and there with my team, depending on what the situation is. Hell, I might even have one or two teams. I don't know. What? what like, I'm just thinking about it right now. So, anywho, here we are in Pastoria City. The first thing we're going to be looking at is right here, the Great Marsh. The, absor uh, the Observatory uh, Gate right here. Now, the Great Marsh, obviously, is like the Safari Zone of Sinnoh. Obviously, you have to pay $500 just to you know, just to go through this and try and capture so as many Pokemon as you can. So, that's what we're going to be doing right here. We're just going to be taking a quick glance at this place. And, well, let's see. Oh, this guy gives us TM-97s. He's going to give us a TM-97 uh, Defog. Which is actually, oh look at that, it's going to our Hidden Moves app, that way we don't have to like waste it on any other Pokemon right here. And well, let's see, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try and capture whatever Pokemon is uh, available to me right here. And as far as I can see, we got ourselves a Wooper or a Quagsire right here, holy crud, okay. Quagsire, how you doing? Let's throw a ball at it. I'm gonna throw a ball at it. Here we go. Throwing the ball at Quagsire, and here's that one. And no, it doesn't want to get captured. Holy crud, okay. Alright, Quagsire. I don't like you. You don't like me. I treated you like crap. But here we go. I'm gonna throw you some bait just in case. And it is eating, it is watching carefully. And we're gonna throw a big old Pokeball at it. Look at this. Okay, come on. God dang it, come on. Okay, he's watching carefully. Let's go right ahead and throw some mud at it. See what happens. I mean, I don't know. Here's some mud. Look at that. And it is angry. And it is watching carefully. Let's go right ahead and throw another ball. If you manage to capture this guy, this is going to be great. Here we go. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the freaking ball. And... <laughs> throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the mother grabbing peace sign. Look at this. We got ourselves Quagsire, the water and ground type Pokemon. It has a sluggish nature. It lies at the river's bottom, waiting for its prey to stray into its mouth. Oh, wow, that is a sluggish nature. And yes, we're going to give this guy a nickname. I bequeath to you the name Lucky. And uh, who knows? Oh, wow. <laughs> Not Ucky. Oh, no! Okay, I messed up. I will change your nickname a little bit later, don't worry, we got we got a guy for that. But I'm going to send you straight to the box. Who knows, I might be using this guy later on, I, I'm kind of interested in using him. Kind of. I'm looking at, guys, I'm looking at different teams, I'm looking at different uh, situations. I've seen, I've seen what happens uh, in the Pokemon League. <laughs> Trust me, I am preparing. I am really preparing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here to the little, tra uh, the little train and we're going to try and find some more Pokemon right here. Maybe some shinies, I don't know. I don't know if anybody's uh, actually found some shinies around here. And, well, there's uh, actual places here you get sucked into. Here we found ourselves a Pokeball. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on ahead. See if we can actually find some other Pokemon. I see a Pokeball there. And look at that. We found Bibarel. Uh Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Holy crud. Okay, if I capture this Pokemon... I'm gonna eat my own underwear. Yes, thank you. Okay, so that is not happening at all. I'm not gonna try and capture this guy. So let's just uh, let's just move away right here, okay? Now, I wonder what other Pokemon you can actually find right here. Let's see. Grab this. We found ourselves a super potion. Not so bad. And let's jump ahead. And yes, we're getting attacked by more Pokemon. And look at that. It's a Whooper. Okay. All right. Let's go right ahead and capture this guy. Yes, I already caught myself a Quagsire, but I kind of want to capture the Wooper too. Mainly because, well, I don't know. I kind of want to evolve it myself. And three, throwing out that peace sign. Yes. Okay, well, we're naming this guy uh, Lucky because it was a lucky catch. 
So there it is. We got ourselves a Wooper. The water fish Pokemon. It lives in cold water, half burying itself in mud at the bottom of the s uh, to sleep. Okay. Okay. This time I bequeath you the name Lucky. Holy crud. Okay, Lucky. There we go. Again, I'm thinking about it, guys. I am thinking about using a different team, different situations. I'm excited for it. And wow! <laughs> Getting attacked by many Pokemon right here, and look at this, we found ourselves a Starly. I think we already caught one of these guys. Yeah, we don't need it. Okay, we already got ourselves a, uh, a, a, a Raptor Blade or whatever it's called. And, let's see, do I have... What is this? Is it an old rod? That is an old rod. And right now, we are going to get nothing because, well, nobody wants a nibble. I'm looking like a snack here, and nobody wants a piece. And would you look at that, guys? We found ourselves Pika Blue. I mean, Meryl. Let's go ahead and capture it. Yes. Anywho, um, let's see. This is actually the very first uh, episode in 2022 for Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond. The one that I'm actually recording and all that crap, guys. I know that I've been very, very late with all the walking videos and stuff. Just want to say Happy New Year's. Um, I know that, like, you know... Shoot, we've been good. We've, we've been doing this for like about 12 years already. Damn, almost 12 years. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, excited for what's next. I know that the next game up is uh, Pokemon Arceus. Yes, we're finally saying Arceus because that's how they're pronouncing it. So I can't wait for that to come out. Now, many people have asked me if I'm going to. Oh wow, there's Pokeball over there. Um, many people have asked me if I'm going to play that uh, during the walkthrough right here. And that is no, I'm actually going to wait, I think, I think I said 30, you know what, I'm probably going to do 40 episodes of this uh, walkthrough before I even, I even sniff out Arceus, because again, I have a lot of, a lot, a lot of my plates, don't want to get too, uh, I, I don't want to get too, too overwhelmed with all these walkthroughs that I'm doing, just alone, I kind of want to, I want to finish them, so there we go, we found ourselves an antidote, and try not to get stuck on this, uh, this mucky area. <laughs> Get it, Muck. And look at this. We found ourselves a Wooper. A nice Wooper. Not going to capture you because I already caught you. And, well, let's go ahead and move on. Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything else that we can actually find over here? At this point, I'm actually looking for some Pokeballs and whatnot. And, uh, yes, I, I'm looking for you too. I want to capture you. I want to add things to the Pokedex. Now, <laughs> I've been so busy so freaking busy guys that I have not even touched Pokemon uh, Shining Pearl so <laughs> yeah that, that that's how that's how busy I've been getting uh, and you know that's that's about to change trust me change my schedule up to work it can benefit everything that I'm doing right now so as you can see here we have another whooper gonna run away from this guy because I don't want nothing to do with this guy and well Kind of feels like every five steps we take, we're getting attacked by a Pokemon, so let's just, uh, let's get away from this guy right here, too. Obviously, I, I could edit this out, but it's like, uh, I'd rather not. And, look at that. What is this? Who are you? Throwing food at Pokemon makes it easier to catch them, but while they're eating, they are likely to bolt. Throwing mud at Pokemon makes it harder to catch, but it's also angry because it becomes less lightly to bolt. Ugh, what, what to do? Well, I did both. There's no there's no easy way about this. You just have to do what you gotta do. Whatever the best strategy is. Especially for, like, these these extremely rare Pokemon right here. And why am I stuck in this area? God dang. See, this is the part that annoyed me the most in Pokemon Platinum was the, the marsh. It just... Oh, God. It, it, it was too much of it. it. Got me sick and tired of it. I think that's, probably the, that's one of the reasons why, you know, Sinnoh's not really one of my favorite uh, regions to go visit. And, well, here we have Meryl. Let's go ahead and try and capture it just with the Pokeball. And two, three. <laughs> I caught the weaker of the Meryl. So look at that, guys. Four Pokemon caught in one episode. Look at this, Meryl, Pika Blue, the Aqua Mouse Pokemon, Fairy, and Water-type Pokemon. Using its tail as, uh, as a float, it dives underwater. It likes eating plants that grow in the riverbeds. Okay. <sighs> Should I nickname it? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nickname it. 
We all thought about it. We all did it at one point. So I'm going to nickname this guy P... Wow. Pika Blue. Now I remember as a kid hearing from like different people about like Pika Blue, Pika Blue this, Pika Blue that. It, it was freaking hilarious. We actually thought that you can actually find it in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. That turned out to be a huge lie. And then we eventually found out what the name of this Pokemon was, and it was, you know, Meryl. No Pika Blue. Kind of messed up a little, but we can also nickname him that guy. We can actually nickname him. So let's see. There's really nothing that right here that we can actually find. Yep, nothing. Nothing. Not even a surf. Okay, so. Let's see, let's go through the easy way. Don't want to step on those marshes right there. And look at that, look at that. Okay. I don't know how many steps we've gotten or got, but it should be enough to actually, you know, move on to the next next area around here. So let's go right ahead and continue on. Let's go to the train right here. I want to use the train. So where haven't we gotten? Uh, you know what, let's go to... Let's go to the area too. I'm assuming that the, the lower numbers are up top and the, uh, the higher numbers are on the bottom. So this good. Probably, okay, it's gonna give us right here. And okay, so there's a pokeball, but unfortunately, we yeah don't have enough time. Well, that sucks. Okay, so I mean that's pretty much it right here, guys. I know that I'm just like you know going episode for episode, but this is a. This, this, yeah, this, this is what I tend, tend to do. As you can see, you got a Team Galactic run. He's like, grr, this is so annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three badges? Little dwarves like you should know when to stay out of Team Galactic's way. Now, this package from Va Va Veilstone. Where should I send it off? Yep, this is going to be smashing job for Team Galactic. Hmm. Yeah, you only make me yawn right here. Okay, so... Let's see, before we leave... Let's go ahead and take a few visits, get a lay of the land and all that stuff, and then, you know, next episode we go into the gym with our newest Pokemon and all. Howdy there, let me examine your Pokemon to see if it's worthy of a scarf and... Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're not, uh, yeah, we're not worthy enough. Who is the, uh, oh, wow, seriously? Oh, wow, okay, um, okay. So, let's go with Rosemont. It did evolve through happiness. It should be worthy enough. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe, maybe just a no normal type Pokemon. Do I have a normal type Pokemon on me? No, I don't. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to have to wait on that. And my brother's girlfriend is a massage girl in Veilstoon City. They take strolls with their Pokemon whenever they get together. It really helps them stay too close. Yeah, I don't say. Okay, so we got to get that scarf somehow. And, well, let's see. What else can we find right here? Obviously, we could find the gym. Let's go ahead and, you know, visit some houses, get some berries and all that crud. As you can see, this guy right here is like, in the Great Marsh, they use quick trams on the uh, on rails for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. <laughs> okay, the ecosystem. And, uh, let's see. Grabbing this, the person berries. There we go. We return to its uh, 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 earthly... Earthly stage and all that crud, and that's another one. Nana berries, you gotta love them. And here we go again. Nana berries, awesome. And grab this person berries. You gotta love the person berries. Okay, so let's see. Uh, there's a few. Well, there's probably two houses left right here. See what? See what they're all about right now. Let's see. Talk to this kid. You know about you know about Burmy and how they come in different forms. Do you have all the forms of there that there are of Burmy? Oh, you don't even it, even it, even it see, have a single Burmy? You don't like them? They're they're kind of mushy and cute. Well, I don't know where to find them. Hmm. Burmy are an interesting example. They hint on at how the environment can shape people's personalities. True. I think this is where they got the whole idea of like you know regional variants and whatnot. I don't know. I'm just saying. And well, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Everyone calls me the Pokemaniac. I prefer Move Tutor. I know every move that Pokemon learn while they're leveling up, and I can teach a Pokemon those moves. I can teach the move to a Pokemon of yours if you like. I'll do it for if you trade me a Hard Scale. If any of your Pokemon needs a uh, to learn a move, come back with the Hard Scale. That sucks. That really does suck, guys. Cause like, you know, I gotten used to the whole freebies of like getting to learn these uh, these moves without hard skills and all that crud and well let's see there's one more house right here we've already visited 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's talk to this lady. I've been hiking all around Sino region. I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too. Please plant it somewhere. You guys already know me. I don't plant anything. I haven't been planting anything. And well, my sister gathers berries every day. Please come visit again. We cook the berries too. We mix them. They're yummy. You don't say. Okay. So, I guess that's pretty much it for Pastoria City. In the next episode, guys, we are going to be going into the gym, getting our fourth badge. That way we can prove that Team Galactic Grunt uh, wrong and all that stuff. I will see you guys in that next episode. See ya.